Hey everyone, it's Clint. Welcome to Sweetcast. I want to talk about Aubrey Sitterson's new Kickstarter campaign. Uh, and this is, in, in his own words, Beef Bros, the aspirational leftist comic book hero. Uh, so be excited for that. <laughs> uh, we're going to get into it and some of the specifics. Before we get into that, though, uh, I got to tell you, Fatal's on Indiegogo. Back it. It's in the link in the description below. Also, Downcast, I added some new stuff here. I had to do some inventory. And these are all the number ones I have left. Volume one, this is it. And then we are out of print. So I have both uh, the the cover A, volume one and volume two, 35 bucks. I'll catch up on everything. Or if you want the coveted Matt Weldon number one, volume number one, I have 50 copies. I think I had 54 total. I'm keeping the four for myself. So there are uh, 54 have been sold already. So that's all there is left of these guys. Uh, get them while they're hot. Also, I did add original art. Nacho sent me over some original pages of art from Downcast. And so, uh, yeah, one's gone. There's six left. You feel free to get in there and back them if you'd like some original art. All right. So I went to the comic book shop today because I knew I had a book on my pull list. And, uh, at the same time, okay. That I, I go there, I want to buy a book. It's, uh, what was it? Frankenstein Undone number three, because I have the first two issues. Scott Alley's name is on the book. And if you remember, Scott Alley has been canceled for being allegedly a very, very disgusting person. Uh, not just that, it's like legit sexual assault claims, not sexual harassment, sexual assault. And so uh, if those allegations are true, he should, uh, you know, face criminal charges. Honestly, that's what should happen. Uh, but his name is on the book. Uh, the fact that, that he's a terrible person, I was still going to buy it because I'd bought the first two issues. I want to finish the mini miniseries for crying out loud. But in this case, I could not do so. Uh, it was canceled. The guy at the comic book shop, bless his heart, said that he thinks it's because of COVID or something. They're going through hard times. They might be going through some hard times, but I think you and I both know this has nothing to do with that. Uh, so even here, this is on Reddit, on the Mignola verse on Reddit. Uh, here we go. The random guy says Frankenstein has done undone has been canceled and is no longer in continuity. Dark Horse has even removed the first two issues from their site. The last night of Saint Hagen uh, has also been canceled, though it's possible it may be rewritten in the future. We'll have to wait to see. So far, the BPRD, the Devil You May Know Omnibus, is still going ahead. Because um, if you're going to cancel an omnibus because one guy's name on it, uh, that seems like a bit of a problem. Uh, yeah, so in the same world, okay, here's the that's the landscape. Same world that you have books being canceled because people have been canceled. Um, you have leftist aspirational superhero comics reaching their full potential in Kickstarter. Now I got to lay this down right now so it's clear. I think if you want to make a far left comic book, go for it. You should be able to do it. Crowdfunding uh, is a particularly good place to do it. You can uh, find people that are interested in, in that crap and they can buy it. I think that's great. Same if you're making far right comics, do it freedom of speech. I have no problem with that whatsoever. Okay. Uh, I don't care what anybody else says. I think you should make whatever comics you want to make, even if they are political. The only problem that I have is when you take existing characters that have become part of the culture and you use those characters uh, to push your own political points of view and to uh, basically condescend down to your cu the customers that you don't like. It's very insulting as a reader to pick up Spider-Man. You've loved him for, for years and years and years. And then, uh, you know, then it turns out to be a, a pol political propaganda pamphlet. That is where I draw a distinction. Uh, nothing centrist or line sitting or anything like that about it. That's called a uh, reason. <laughs> That's how we can live in a, in a country. Okay. Uh, you give people the right to, to say what they want to say. All right. So having said that, Aubrey Sitterson, uh, who he, he just said very recently that he got involved in some online political histrionics in his own words, and he regretted it. It has cost him his career. It has done uh, unreversible, I think he said, irreversible damage to his career. Uh, now, having said that, 
this is the book that he comes out with and he has something to say about superheroes. Let's give a little bit of this a listen. Superheroes began as something beautiful and pure. Incredible individuals using their strengths and talents to uplift and inspire regular folks. Yeah. Superheroes have long, long since devolved into something else entirely. Super cops. The embodiment of centrist law and order and even outright reactionary politics no. to make matters worse. Yeah, I'm going to stop you there. Uh, so if you remember, like a lot of people will tell you, if you have a problem with politics and comics, they'll say, it's always been that way. What are you talking about? Nothing has changed. You know, it feels like you're being gaslighted. Gas, gaslighted? Yeah. Uh, in this case, I would say uh, it might actually be your perspective. Poli uh, uh, not police, superheroes have always fought criminals and stopped criminals. That that happens all the time, even in some very, very old comics. That happens all the time. Uh, so <laughs> to say that that's uh, not the goal here is, or that that hasn't been how superheroes used to be, don't you kind of see the hypocrisy in your, uh, you know, in your criticism? Uh, I, I just don't think so. Uh, anyway, so he goes on to say they're just, got to help help people that need help okay sometimes that might be getting some help uh from a criminal that is uh vandalizing your property stealing your property uh kidnapping all sorts of things that criminals can do uh superheroes could help with um there's a reason why that kind of stuff is against the law uh anyway uh so his campaign is uh total bisexual lighting of course uh, so we wouldn't expect anything less. Uh, beyond that, I just find it interesting because the big, bulky, uh, beefy body shapes have kind of been against mainstream comics. And he even says mainstream comics would not produce something like this. Uh, I have got to wonder if he sees some of the same complaints that you might hear someone like your boy Zach uh, stating about um, the way that men are portrayed, the way black men are portrayed as very uh, feminine in modern comics, maybe he would have those same complaints, but you couldn't voice them out loud. I don't know. I guess I have to ask Aubrey, but I have to wonder if Marvel Comics would uh, print somebody uh, like this, a black man that is being sort of a macho band figure, uh, or would that be against the rules? I don't know. I've got to imagine that <laughs> some of the things that bother the rest of us bother you as well it's just uh you wouldn't want to say anything uh anyway so i won't be back in this campaign uh if you're interested in uh, leftist aspirational superhero comics i guess this is the route to go the video is uh it's uh it's funny because it's it's very cringy and uh it's one of those things like if you do a rant and you put it funny music and uh animations in the, in that rant people will say, oh, like it's supposed to be a joke. This is funny. But the things that he's saying are not funny. Uh, he's he's going on about, uh, you know, how superheroes are ter terrible. And I, I don't understand why this has to be a leftist kind of thing. Like, why is that the angle? Um, it seems like it's part of the selling point, but I don't know. Maybe it's in the story, I guess. Um, let's see. Think you can just mooch off society, but I'm not hurting one. Yeah, even worse. You're hurting business, thug. Oh, so the bad guy here is, oh, I don't know if this is an actual police officer. Uh, he's the bad guy. So they're going to be going against the police. Um, yeah, beautiful. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I don't know. It looks like he'll probably hit his goal, I'm guessing. Yeah, it's, it just launched. He's probably going to hit his goal. Uh, beating up police officers as some sort of kind of power fantasy is uh, obnoxious, uh, to say the least. And uh, it just sort of shows how polarized the world is right now. <laughs> I just, I don't understand it. Even this, though, I don't like this speech at all, but I would defend it, uh, free speech. So, you know, make your comic. Anyway, so thanks for listening. Really appreciate you. I'd love to hear your comments. Like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out Fatal. It's in the link in the description below. And also Downcast, uh, Rise and Fall. We have these. These are the last of volume ones. And so you can pick those up as well as original art. Thanks so much. And I will see you in the next video.